Peggy's been hunting us down like there's no tomorrow. <gasps> Somebody got the Peggy's off. There's reports of judges in the area. We can't let them get to Perkins. We need a research if we're gonna beat Jacob. Let's go make sure she's not in any trouble. We're waiting a long time for this. their soldiers up in these mountains. They got the home field advantage. Thank you. 
things without conscience and empathy. Only the strong survive. Or so it used to be. Scientists have manipulated nature for ages, but they've done it all wrong. They've made us soft. They've made us complacent. They've made us sick. But when the farmer breeds his animals, he segregates them according to their traits. He discards the diseased, and the inferior, and the weak. He acts without conscience or empathy. We are like the farmer. We call the herd.
that according to their traits, he discards the disease and the inferior and the weak. He acts without conscience or empathy. We are like the farmer. We call third. I can't believe those fuckers were keeping folks prisoners there, waiting for their indoctrination. <sighs> Thanks for springing, Jess. That niece of mine is as tough as nails, oh, but she's got a knack for trouble. Check in on her for me, would you? Need your help. It's important. You sure as hell know how to handle it yourself. Thanks for busting me out. Name's Jess. If you're out here picking fights with the cult, then I'm guessing you already know my Uncle Dutch. Look, I don't got a lot of time to waste. I'm gonna get right to the point. I was on the trail of one of Jacob's zealots. Goes by the name The Cook. Yeah, don't sound so scary. But believe me, he's one twisted fuck. Almost tracked him down. But a Peggy patrol got the drop on me. I need your help. We can't let this trail go cold. If you're looking to hook up with the Whitetails, this could be your way in. And more importantly, you'd help put an evil motherfucker in the grave. Gotta move. Wasted too much time already. Follow me. This way. Now we know someone is See that? That's his calling card. Innocent people burned alive. Goddamn cults bribing everyone. They'll take you from your home, a bar, even church. Don't matter where you are. Then they slot you into one of two categories. Weak or strong. See, Jacob's building an army. 
and anyone who can't or won't fight for it winds up dead. Culling the herd, he calls it. Wholesale slaughter of innocent people. Nobody believed it was happening, because nobody wanted to believe. Then there's the one we're after. The cook. He's one of Jacob's favorites. The one who leads his purge. The cook's bought into all of Jacob's bullshit. This motherfucker's gonna get what he deserves. Try that again. Hey, the hostage! What the? I got thick feet under if you didn't save me. Thanks. The cook. 
Wolves used to be just this natural predator in the wild until the cult experiment on them. These judges are like nasty, dire wolves now. Careful out there. After three days, they got so thirsty they had to drink their own piss. Like the kids didn't want to do it. I don't know what these judges are, but I know they don't die easy. The kids puked it right back up. Cook didn't like that. So he went and strung the parents up on posts under the hot sun. took the rest of the pit. Let's go. I keep hearing about this chair that breaks people down. It pains me to think that maybe my brother went through that. To the cook. He had the parents on post. I decided to give the kids a little more. I got your fix. And then he asked if they were hungry. The kids were starving, so they said yes. Started begging for food. The cook asked if they want pork. He went out to the parents. They took their shoes off and started to play. This little piggy went to market. And the blood poured like a damn faucet. Cook had a big old grin on his face as he offered each little piece to the kids. I've heard a lot of fucked up things are happening in these mountains. Screaming. 
I looked around. He was just gone. Vanished like some sort of demon in the night. Anyways, that's why they call him the cook. Death and that piece of shit deserved. Killed one. was right. Cook's dead and I don't feel anything. All I ever wanted was to find this guy. And now I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That just been right about a lot of shit lately. But Colt, Eli, maybe he's right about you too. You uh you need someone to watch your back? Call me. And, uh... Thanks. For everything you've done. Looking tired, girl. Jess, you got family?